Hi Capricorns, how you doing? I'm going to take a look here and see what's going on this week for the first week of May 2023. Here we see someone who is definitely looking for a potential partner for marriage. Looking to get married. And then if you're in a relationship, I see someone who is very understanding of each other. We have a really great mutual trust, a good relationship. And then currently we see um, somebody pulling back and wanting to take a little bit more time for themselves. Not as a bad thing, particularly. And this energy here shows um, it's like just being more introverted than usual. Someone is, instead of being social and the center of tension, they just prefer to linger on the sidelines and kind of watch what's going on right now. So how is Capricorn feeling right now? We see the Five of Cups reverse and how is the other person feeling what are their feelings here we see the seven of pentacles so with capricorn you definitely feel like getting back together and then maybe this is Feeling like spending more time with somebody. And then this other energy is looking more like they are the ones who are uneasy about something. So, however this fits, they are anxious and depressed and... Their money it orders are like all a mess. Something's going on. And maybe they are just a hot mess. Okay? And so what is the good news? We see the moon. And then what is the bad news is the hangman. So is shows an event any major event for this week the first week of may guys um, hidden dangers so we need to be careful and watch out for uh, dishonesty deception and ulterior motives and then the bad news <laughs> that's the good news and then so the bad news in this event spirit says is uh, somebody is getting smarter and this is going to create a change in your life. It's time for a baby. Somebody says it's time for a new, something new. So if this is somebody wanting to have a baby, you guys are together. Um, but it's really more about a rebirth. And then we welcome new life forces which could be other people and this could create a situation of good feelings for someone but it's also somewhat of a struggle on Capricorn's part so if this is you let me know down below in the comment box if I got the energy right on this one because the bad news is is that this other person probably going to, uh, you know, try to loosen up away from you, become loose, something which could also mean, you know, like dilating and having a baby. But so far the cards aren't showing anything about pregnancy. So however, you know, it's just kind of a vague but yet general 
So let's go on and then we can find out more because what are our hopes? Anybody's hopes in this situation? We see the five of wands, but in reverse. So what are we hoping for here? Who is hoping for what? Um, I guess I see it's that there is trickery. We have a fight. And so it's this energy where, um, looking at the cards, this other person, see how they start a fight? So this week, if somebody starts a fight with you, it's going to be either about how we need to open... We need to be able to open up to each other more because somebody is just all tied up. And then it's about doing new things together. You know, and not being so tied down. So, um, hoping to be able to, you know, maybe even in a loving way, Trick someone into spending more time with us. Um, trick us into um, a pregnancy. Trick us into, trick you, trick them into. Um, we want rebirth. Five, that's the positive. In... Trickery, disputes, and someone has, okay, so hoping to, um, be good at it, you know, hoping that I can do this and hoping that I don't fail, be, and then so what, Hope we don't fail. Hope we don't fail. Hoping to do this. What is that fear? We see the three of pentacles in reverse. I hope this works. I hope this takes. I hope we can work this out. I hope we can work it out together. Um, but we hope it doesn't fail. So in that, probably going to get... Um, somebody who is fearing that they won't have enough skills somehow to get this done. And what, so what can Capricorn focus on? Here I see the two of wands. Spirit giving us some advice now. And the two of wands, I see... Maturity and attainment. Focus on getting what you want. Okay? And, and, and be an adult about it. You know, focus on the fact that we're all adults here. Be mature about it. And again, if we always, you know, we can manifest, you know, and, 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 and if, if we keep a positive mindset, Spirit says, uh, focus on the fact that you are uh, the, a very responsible and mature adult. Okay, in some aspect. Uh, being a mature adult here, something about that, but we have this fear of mediocrity. It won't be enough. You know, it's, 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 it's petty. We have a petty argument, okay? And, and does it mean anything to you? Does it mean anything to me? Spirit saying to focus on um, being, you know, being the bigger one here, you know, and, and, and be the adult in the situation and be mature about it because of the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Spirit is saying because it's 
unrealistic. It is petty. It's unrealistic. Someone's approach to this. Um, I mean, for one, it's not any fun to argue and fight, you know, but do we honor each other? You know, we're, we need somebody who will honor and value us we saw in the beginning in wanting to have you know maybe we did but in the past we did yeah in the past we did respect each other in the past we had that mutual and now as all relationships eventually do become competitive the potential to come become competitive we need to focus on being the adult here. And Spirit says the reason is because um, their self-importance or someone's self-importance, somebody's got a big head, they're overinflated, you know? And somebody's become boring in that aspect. And... And avoid being dull and petty, you know, and boring. And we need to, because outside things here with the Eight of Pentacles and other people, outside things and other people. Very skilled, yes. You know. This outside stuff, everybody has having what it takes, putting in this effort. Very talented and applying ourselves with the pro proper energy. Our, e our efforts will be rewarded. Um, it will benefit them as well. And so these other people, the Knight of Swords, in this week, May, the first week of May, 2023, we see that this fight, and we were wanting to come back together, could push us a little farther apart. If anybody holds, you know, if, if we can't be patient, you know, and somebody being a fucking prude, not being a prude, it ruins the chances of success in this relationship, you know? And somebody's going to be like, well, why did you even fucking marry me to begin with? You know what I mean? Or like... Why am I even here? Somebody's saying, why aren't you here? It's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Um, only starting what you can finish. So other people and outside things thinking that I can't finish what I started. See this job, see this work, not being able to come through. Again, it's been loud and clear through the whole reading so far that somebody doesn't believe that they can deliver. Um, could be that somebody doesn't think someone else is going to come through for them on your end of things. And then we see the other person who isn't sure. Okay, in this fight and or this argument. So... Spirit says, do this. What is that? The Nine of Swords in reverse. Do this. Okay. That's what I'm getting. We're going to do it. Right? <laughs> says, obstacles and suspicion. That person that's de depressed and sad. Uh, we need to help them. Or, if that's you, it says, um, help is near. And we will break out of this battle, this fight. And help is near. So, you can be the help. Or if you need help, help is near. And so, because what we can't see and what is hidden here, being that four coins... So actually, um, this is a good card and this is a great positive message. Okay. 
But you need to watch out. Somebody needs to watch out for... Being insensitive and ungenerous. So I think what we can't see is, you know, um, that someone is not giving enough here. And someone just really isn't sure if they can this week, right? So we can see that. We wanted to see, and I want to see what's hidden and that is what is hidden in this Four of Pentacles. We see a pot, a, like a possessiveness and controlling behavior. But again, it's rooted in that fear that I'm not good enough. It's not about love. It's about sex and time with someone and what we're really getting out of it because somebody here might be clinging to a relationship which is creating a suff like and suffocating existence trying to control everything that that partner is doing but that's what's hidden and so if you're single and you're looking for love this might be a more conservative in your approach Somebody um, is trying to approach you, but they're just being very conservative and not somebody in the fear that this, this, this relationship may not work. Where we're looking for somebody in the past, we've been looking for somebody that's long term. And somebody will need to, uh, what we can't see right now is step out of their comfort zone to let love in. And be less controlling and just go with the flow. The beginning of May. Right on. So what could happen? It's going to be this Queen of Cups. This is how this could possibly turn out. And so if you're single and you're looking for love, um, you're an incredible influence on this relationship. So, okay. And I think that Capricorn is coming from a place of calm. And if you do, I'm compassionate, emotionally balanced, and attracting healthy and loving relationship. And the best thing you can do is just be yourself. And you will find an attractive love. And you will be able to attract love into your life, right? Okay. And that's how this is going to work out. Um... If you're worried that you can't and you don't have what it takes, Spirit said, remember, help is on the way. Love is on the way. Soon enough, we just got to calm the fuck down. We got somebody coming at us. They might just need to work something out with you. It's compassion and loving who will show great potential for a warm and sustainable relationship. This Queen of Cups. Despite someone's association with whoever they're associated with or whatever group of people they're in. Um, we do, this person will touch your emotions and this person is unafraid of telling it like it is. And um, so someone who does have feelings for you is going to express themselves. And if you are with someone and they do not express themselves, there could be someone here this week that tells us Capricorn, this isn't gonna work. But it's, it's really about trusting your intuition, too. So if something doesn't seem right in your love life this week, or you sense that like your partner is hurting, reach out to your partner and show that love and compassion. Because you might very well have a partner, and this week they might sense that you are hurting, and they're going to reach out. And they're going to use that emotional, emo, their emotional centeredness to heal and nurture you and support you. And this is also the energy of someone who is going to come in for you someday in the future. So this could be like another female is present or has an influence on this relationship. You need to look to other things that are going on and see what is influencing this. So, are we romantically involved here? 
If you're single, let me know down below in the comment box, guys. I want to know what's going on. And um, see, this is coming in. <clears throat> Don't worry. Help is on the way. Love is on the way. So if we're depressed about it, maybe you are the one coming to help someone who is depressed. Doubtful. Not sure of their skills. Maybe your partner, you're single, is coming in, you know. And these are the words and the, and the advice that we're getting from Spirit for this week, anyways. So good luck in your love lives. There, that Queen of Cups looks nice coming in. That's a very nurturing love, you know, where somebody can really communicate their feelings. Okay? So everybody here just needs to trust their intuitions this week and stay emotionally centered and help others in order to heal and nurture and support and support each other. Okay? We can bring that positive energy to the situation at hand. And I think they will, too. So just remember, people, you get what you put in, and people get what they deserve, like Kid Rock from Detroit City said, which I always like his other saying that said, get in the pit and try to love someone. Okay, we should do that every day. And I think Capricorn does, because I think you guys have that kind of personality. But <clears throat> I know I will always be here for you, my tarot loves. Um, sign up now for the giveaway. 13 lucky entries will be drawn at the stroke of midnight, Saturday, May 13th, 2023. It's going to be your choice of one of free tarot reading from me. Listed on the about page on the channel here, you get to pick from one of three readings. One is the ultimate love reading, which is what I just did here. Two, love relationships. And three, singles, find your future love. Only two weeks away. Better sign up. All right. Uh-huh. <clears throat> so, you know, that's what's going on around here in May 2023. I'm turning 51. Um, we're celebrating two years of Tara Love here on YouTube um, with a name change in order to welcome the new. As always, my loves, celebrating you, subscribers and viewers, and inquiring minds. Thank you so much. Check back. Until next time, bye-bye.